Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to work with data grid column sorting in WPF applications. Let's go ahead and create a new WPF application. I'll name it data grid column sorting. I'll add a simple data grid on the main page. Let's name it my data grid. Okay. Now let's get some data to display in our data grid. I've prepared this code that loads a simple data set um, from a JSON file and populates a list of customers. Here is how the JSON is structured. Okay. Now I can simply write my data grid item source equals to data customers. Yeah, that should be enough to see the customers in our data grid. Let's give it a try. Perfect. As you can see, the data grid is initially sorted by customer ID column. If I click on any other column header, it will sort by that column first in ascending and then in descending order. So that's a built in feature of, of the data grid. However, there are, there are some times when we might need to implement custom sorting logic for data grid. For instance, we could sort by a different column programmatically when a button is clicked or another event happens. We might also want to change the default sorting column. Let's say we want the initial sorting to be by first name instead of customer ID. And now, if you, no if you notice, the last name column isn't sorted correctly. We have two Allen stainers on different rows. To fix this, we can additionally sort by last name. Let's see how to do that. So data grid uses I collection view internally which provides functionalities like sorting, filtering, grouping, and other things without requiring changes to the underlying source collection itself. And to get the default collection view, we can write collection view source, get default view, and we need to give my data grids, grids item source, okay? The rest is just straightforward. Now we can say view sort descriptions, add, we're gonna create new sort description and we will mention the property name and then the order, list sort direct, oh, not here. list sort direction ascending and then we can have also the last name okay let's see how it works so first name yeah as you can see now everything looks fine. 
We can also do this in the XAML file. It's a bit trickier, but not too difficult. Let's let's comment out this part. So to manage data grid sorting in XAML, we need to create a new resource, which is collection view source. So it's going to be window resources. So it's going to be collection view source sorted customers view source. And then here we're going to have, we, we need to bind it to the item source. So it's going to be binding source equals static resource sorted column customers view source. And so here we need to add the sort descriptions. So it's going to be collection view source or descriptions. We need to have sort description here. We need to resolve it. Let me do that. Right. And of course, we need to give the property name first name and then the direction ascending last name and the last thing we need is the collection view source needs to have its uh, its source bound to some property so we're gonna have source binding let's say customers now we need to have the customers in main window so we're gonna have public list of customer customers we're gonna have only get and there we need to return data customers it's a nullable type and also we need to give the data context let's give it a try now as you can see we have the same result the last thing i wanted to mention is that there is also a sorting event Uh, where you can have some custom logic and manage the way sorting happens we will but we will not go deeper into that for today that's it for this tutorial i hope you found it helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video